coming up to our event this morning. We're quite excited about it. Um, I want to introduce a few people. There's Deputy Mayor Jim Williams on council is here. Good morning. Pat Westrop who's on council. Ed Van Eggler on council. Wait, if you see him. <laughs> and we also have some staff in the room. Uh, Christy Alexander's our CAO. Maura Chatterson's our treasurer. Allison, right here in the red, is uh, our bylaw officer and planning person. And Natalie is our uh, building inspector. Chief building Chief official. Chief building official. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the title. So. I think that's all. Yeah, nobody else from staff in right? So, anyway, Habitat for Humanity is a project that uh, Council, even last term, discussed and really wanted to get behind and uh, find a lot in Colburn, I guess, because that suits the project the best to, uh, to, to develop and uh, to promote for as a habitat location. Uh, way back in the 1980s, I remember seeing a program on TV, on PBS, and I forget the show's name. It was right after or before this old house, and uh, it was a building type show, and they did a project and talked about uh, habitat, and that was when Jimmy Carter was first involved in it, and it always caught my imagination. I'm a strong believer in the, the uh, hand up, not a hand out uh, way of uh, helping people, and so I thought that philosophy around that whole habitat uh, uh, program was really one that was I found inspiring, and I guess the word empowering is the word that means a lot too, and I think that's true. And uh, fortunately, council will all agree, and we're all behind this project 100%. Uh, and so we're really pleased that uh, early last year we were able to uh, donate a lot from our Colburn Creek subdivision that we've been working on for a number of years. And uh, it's an ideal lot because it's close to the Keeler Center, it's close to the Rotary Centennial Park, a nice playground for kids, it's close to downtown within walking area, uh, walking distance, sorry. And so we think it's a really nice location for a, for a family to grow up in. And uh, so anyway, we've been working on this project for a while, so now we've finally got to the family selection process and we're excited to announce the family today. Without further ado, I'll hand it over to Megan McDonald, who is the Executive Director of Habitat. Thanks for coming. So, and I'm very quickly going to hand it over, first of all, to one of our board members, Tricia McAllister. She's the Vice Chair of our board, and she's going to bring greetings on behalf of our board. So, thank you very much. Um, thanks for having us here today and for wanting to participate in uh, the good work that Habitat for Humanity does. And Habitat for Humanity has been a part of Northumberland County uh, since 1998, and I'm very excited that uh, the house in Colburn will be our 40th home in this uh, in Northumberland. We've built 29 homes in Coburg, six in Port Hope, with one being dedicated on Friday, uh, two in Brighton, one in Workworth, and also one in Alderville First Nation. Uh, so it's a very active affiliate. It's a very active community. This community really does uh, uh, support the hand up as opposed to the hand out uh, mentality of, of Habitat for Humanity. And um, we look forward to working with uh, the family to um, turn their mortgages, their mortgage payments into another new home for another family as part of Habitat's revolving, uh, revolving fund. So thank you very much for your support and uh, we look forward to working with the community and all of the volunteers to make some dreams come true. Um, so I will get to the reason why we're here today. Um, back, when we, back when we first sat down and realized that this was going to be a project for, for 2018, Habitat for Humanity was really excited and then we knew our first step was to find a local family because that's the reason why we build we build houses, families turn them into homes. So it was really important to us that we were able to find that family as soon as possible. We, uh, we did quite a search, and I really want to take this opportunity, first of all, to thank all of our community partners that helped us. Lori Carl, who's our people manager, spent a lot of time here holding information sessions, working with, uh, with different organizations like Community Care, the school board, and it was only after having all those people surround us and help us that we were able to find the partner family. So, I'm going to introduce you to the Smith family. Uh, so we've got Brandy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying already. <laughs> Brandy and Peter, and we've got their four kids here who are 17, 10, 5, and 2. So, the Smith family, and they're going to say a couple words. Um, very briefly. Very briefly, just because it's really overwhelming. Um, we never thought that we'd ever have this opportunity. 
We're very grateful and blessed to be sitting here today and have the opportunity to own a home. I just would like to say beforehand thanks very much to everyone who is going to and is supporting this. Like Brandy said, I, we never thought that we would own a home, and this is going to be our home. Yeah. And whatever it takes for us to keep it is what we're going to do. Yeah, we already started our sweat equity hour, That's right. so yeah. uh, here we go. <laughs> we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah, thank you to everyone. Thank you very much. wanted to obviously introduce you guys to the family, but we also wanted to give you an opportunity too to hear a little bit more about where we go from here. Now that we have a family, the real work begins. Because now we have to work so that we can build a home to provide them with the stability of home ownership which it will provide. So, uh, and if you have anything to add, we are, um, where do we go from here? Uh, we have, Habitat for Humanity is going to be spending a lot of time here in Grammy Township over the next couple of months. Um, I introduced you guys to Lori Carl, our people manager. She's also our volunteer coordinator. So Lori's going to be the one on the ground pretty soon getting people engaged, getting them safety trained so that they can come out because we're going to depend on a lot of volunteer labor to build the house. We also have our construction manager, Deb Wilson, from Habitat here. And Deb is going to be the one in charge of building the house and building it to all code standards, which I know will make Natalie very happy. Um, so Deb is, going to be, Deb is going to be here a lot too, getting ready for that. And then the other big, that's the building of the home part. So that, the schedule that we're looking for is early spring, summer, to be able to be doing that. This is Habitat's first project in 2013. It's our, it's our first goal to get this house built and completed. And then the other side is we also pretty soon will be launching our fundraising campaign because we have we are working with the community to raise seventy five thousand dollars to build this house. Um, we have sponsorship level packages actually. I, I'm not sure where they went, but they are here um, because we're actually going to be partnering with the township so that people, if they want to donate to the project, can actually come in here and do so from as little as ten dollars, which buys you a sheet of drywall, up to. Um, $75,000 is, 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 is what we've set in. Um, but it's really important to us that the local community, if they want to contribute, can come in and actually pick something from our gift catalog so they know exactly what their money's buying. Because Habitat's business model means that 100% of every dollar donated goes to building affordable housing. So every time someone comes in to make a donation to this project, whatever it is, it's going right to this project to help this family. So, did you have anything you wanted to add? Well, I can just add that we've already started meeting with uh, some of the corporate people in the community. <coughs> and uh, with them, we've got fairly good response. And uh, hopefully we'll have some announcements in the near future. Uh, we're going to make our first announcement next week on, on some money that's been raised for the project already. Uh, so it's quite exciting. Not, what I find exciting is people who I don't really uh, think or think about who have an interest in the project have come up to me and they're all excited about it and want to get involved and become a volunteer on the project, which is really you know, inspiring. So it's, I think once we get going, it's going to be uh, really exciting in the community. Uh, and it is already, actually. So uh, we're quite excited about that part. Uh, fundraising is an important part of it. And for the press that are here, we've got a, an outline of how we're going to raise the money and what we're looking for. So I think we'll have no problem in meeting our goals for this project. Mm -hmm. Especially since it's the first one in Colburn. There's quite a bit of excitement attached to it. So, so just in closing from Habitat's perspective, we're really excited because from the minute that the township agreed that they would donate this lot to us, we've realized that this is truly going to be a home that's built by Colburn. In helping us find this family, it was Colburn that helped us find this, all the different community agencies and, and individuals. So that will continue. I have no doubt that this will be a home that is built by Colburn and that you guys will be proud to be able to hand the keys over to the family and then they can turn it into their own home. So. On behalf of Habitat, I want to thank you. And yeah, maybe we should make, make one more announcement about the information night. Oh, so yes. Our book now. So we're going to have an information night for volunteers on February the 13th, which is a Wednesday, I think. 13th? Yeah. yeah. yeah when, I was, when I was picking dates, I made sure it wasn't the 14th. Yeah, it's at the Keeler Center. Yeah, it's at the Keeler Center. What time? Uh, we haven't decided that yet. Okay. It'll be in the evening, though. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we just uh, affirmed the time up uh, last night. That's so. for volunteers? Or? For anybody in the community who's interested in volunteering, okay. mm -hmm. uh, including service groups and that kind of thing, because they all want to get involved in some, some aspect. Okay. Okay. So we'll send more information out. I guess they can always call. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
Thank you. Okay, that's all I had. Yeah. yeah.